Hello everyone, this is the Domestic Ginger. Um, today I'm going to be doing a copycat recipe for Chicken Brian, which is from the restaurant Carrabba's. Um, it's not going to be exactly like it, but it's going to be very, very close. Their recipe calls for white wine. I don't like alcohol, so um, even if it's just a little bit of white wine or whatever, so um, <clears throat> I don't allow alcohol in my home, so um, it's not going to be in this recipe. This is everything that you'll need. You'll need your chicken. You only need a little bit of chopped up tomato and a little bit of chopped up onion. I would say one or two tablespoons. I just kind of eyeballed it. You need salt, pepper, and garlic, lemon juice, basil, extra virgin olive oil, butter, and goat cheese. Your first step that you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to like 375. Then you're going to take your extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And you're going to pour it on your chicken. Actually, it would probably be better if I brushed them on. Because you want to make sure it gets all over the chicken. Once you have it all on one side, salt and pepper them. Just put a little bit, I guess, or basically it's to taste whatever you prefer. If you like a lot of pepper, add a lot of pepper. If you don't, then you don't have to. I'm not a fan of salt, as you all know. I would prefer not to put this on here, but he likes salt. so. Gonna sprinkle it on. Okay. All right, so just flip these babies over and do the same thing to the other side. Once your oven is preheated to 375, go ahead and take your chicken, throw it on in the oven. Then you're going to take your butter, your onions, and your garlic. Okay, so you take two tablespoons of butter, which this looks like about two tablespoons. Turn your burner on. <laughs> That's him calling for Molly. Okay, so, and then um, you do a tablespoon of garlic. <laughs> Love you too. Okay, and then you, um, Take your onions, throw those in. Oh, thank you. I never think to turn that on. For sure. Can't forget this. Oh yeah, I add that after. All right, so once that is all in there, 
It's really hard trying to pick out all these onions. I shouldn't have put the tomatoes and the onions together in the same bowl. Yay. All right. So now, um, oh, and make sure it's more like medium heat. You don't want it on super high, I guess, because apparently it will burn. So give it a minute and saute that up. All right, once your onions are nice and soft, and garlic, if you use like um, freshly crushed garlic, instead of me, I cheated and used the already minced, you're gonna add a cup, or I'm sorry, a third of a cup of lemon juice, which is basically this, almost what's left in here. So give that a minute and let that simmer. Okay, now we're going to stir in two-thirds of a cup of cold butter, just a little bit by a little bit. Just keep putting in a little bit by a little bit um, until you have two-thirds of a cup. Okay, so that's all nice and melted, and now you add in tomato. And then you're also going to do like a quarter a cup of basil. Ooh, my ceiling fan is making it a... Uh fly everywhere. Oh, that's smell good. Um, then however much like salt and pepper you want. I'm just going to do a tiny bit. that is mixed up, remove it from heat, and then just wait um, a few minutes for your chicken to get done. Okay, so they took about like 15-20 minutes in the oven. And then you take your, I guess your sauce, if you want to call it that. Um, Go ahead and put it right on your chicken. It smells just like it, too. Then you take your goat cheese. I use the, what is it, garlic and herb flavored. You 
and basically divide it up into six. And slap it on your chicken. All right, once you've done that, let's go ahead and pop it in the oven for like maybe another minute or two, and then they should be done. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. Oh, my camera doesn't have the best. There we go. Okay. It looks delicious. We've made it before, so we already know it's delicious. But anyway, this is a copycat recipe for chicken brine from Carabas, and I hope you enjoy it. Have a good one.